Routine. Some people hate doing the same things day in and day out. Me, I don't have a problem with it. I'm totally happy following the same schedule every day. You want to know why? Because then I don't have to worry about all the stuff that's not important. Then I can focus only on what really matters. It's the same with training. I might not be the world's greatest trainer, but I don't mind doing it, which is not a feeling that's universally shared around here. How many more of these have we got to go? What's the matter, soldier? Well, it's freezing in here. My joints are seizing up. Just don't think about it. Easy for you to say. It's not your legs that are about to drop off. Even Gary balling us out was kind of comforting. We always knew exactly where we stood. Come on, guys. You're better than this. That's it. Pick it up in the back there. You're behind. Go, go, go. You guys are a bit off the boil this week. What's the matter with you all? The routine was always the same, but when it came to the main game, routine always paid off. This was what made it all worth it. The surfing. This was what it was all about. As long as I could perform when it mattered, that everything was sweet, even if I did have the occasional stumble. None of you covered yourselves in glory out there today, guys. It was a pretty ratty performance from everyone. And Guy, I don't know where your head was, mate. Your balance was all over the place. Oh, sorry, I was just having an off day. That's all. Everyone has them. What are you going to do on the pro circuit, huh? Ask the judges to replay an event because you had a bad day? Guys, the North Coast Championships are in a few weeks. Unless you want to be seriously embarrassed, I suggest you lift your game. But it's not like we're not trying. Yeah, you don't think we're just goofing off, do you? I don't know, you tell me. Why would we do that? Of course we're not. Then why are you all underperforming? You know, not just in your surfing, but in your training drills as well. We can't be. Running, swimming, crunches, you name it, you've all gone backwards across the board. Maybe it's the routine. Yeah, maybe we should try a few new things at training. No, I, see, I don't see why we should change the routine. This is just basic fitness preparation. Changing the routine is not going to make us fitter. So now you're the coach? No, I just don't understand why everyone's freaking out about a bad day of surfing. It's an easy fix. Train harder, that's all. All I'm suggesting is that we mix up the training a bit. Is that so bad? OK, OK. Look, perhaps we have hit a bit of a flat spot. That's understandable. You've reached the middle of the year, the novelty's worn off, and I know the end of the course Seems like it's forever. But it's not, OK? And pretty soon, four of you are going to be left wondering what more you could have done and how much harder you should have trained. That was it in a nutshell. It wasn't the routine that was the problem. It was people's attitude. All we had to do was keep our own cool and put in more effort. Simple. So how many points is a surf comp worth anyway? What, the North Coast champs? Yeah, three points for a win and one and a half for a placing. Wow, we really do need to take this seriously. I don't like our chances, not the way we're going at the moment. No, oh, you're right there. Guys, be positive, will you? The surf comp is three weeks away. We'll get up to speed. Not if we just keep doing what we're doing. Oh, here we go again. Why are you blaming the training routine? Because we're stuck in a rut. We need to find some alternative. Like what? I don't hear any suggestions. Not real ones, anyway. OK, well, then maybe I'll come up with some. Yeah, well, maybe you should, Cassie. Guys, will you stop it? You sound like a broken record. OK, I surrender. Look, I need to return some library books anyway. I'll see you guys later. Why are you being so one-eyed about this? I'm not being one-eyed about this. I just don't believe in upsetting the apple cart for no good reason. It's hardly no good reason. The reason we have routines is because routines work. And what will we change it to anyway, chess? Where would that get us? Just watch your shoulders. Just make sure you keep them down and back and keep your chest open, yeah? Um, two minutes, grab a drink, and we'll start again. Cool? Oh, hey there. Anything I can do for you? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to intrude. Oh, no, you're not. Don't worry. Rachel Miller. Uh, hi, Cassie Committee. Hey, you um, interested in joining this class, Cassie? Uh, this class? Yeah. <laughs> are you kidding? Uh, no, sorry, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Way too good for me. Well, something must have brought you here. Top surfer, right? 
I recognise you from Solar Blues Publicity. Yeah, I'm trying to be. <laughs> you interested in dance? Yeah, I am actually. I'm just curious, just looking to see if there are any similarities. Between surfing and dancing? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, I know. I'm so sorry. It's a stupid idea. I'll get out of your hair. Hey, hang on. You didn't let me finish. Honestly, you guys would not believe how much surfing and dancing have in common. Then why don't you see any dancers out there surfing? How do you know there aren't? Yeah, all sorts of people surf. So what did she say? Oh, she said it helps with balance, strength, flexibility, concentration, all the stuff that we work on. Well, we should sign up then. That is what I think. Well, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not serious. I mean, dancing? Why not? Because we've got a comp coming up and it's not the time to all of a sudden start changing everything. But we're going nowhere at the moment. What have we got to lose? Cassie's got a point with this. We can't do much worse. Yeah, we can do a hell of a lot worse. As much as I hate to admit it, Guy's got a point too. Thank you. Change can make you go backwards as well as forwards. Yeah, and we can't just stop surfing altogether. But I'm not talking about stopping the surfing side of things, just all the other stuff. What do you think, Beck? Wait. Beck, please put Cassie out of her misery and tell her that this is a stupid idea. Actually, I don't think it is. What? But I'm not the one you'll have to convince, Cassie. Guys, I appreciate the suggestion, but I honestly can't see what good it'll do. Fortunately, I knew I could count on Gary. He invented routine. Well, can we at least try it for a couple of weeks? That's all we're asking for. If you guys feel so strongly about this, how come I only see you girls in here? Why aren't the boys arguing for this as well? Uh, they feel we're in a flat spot too. They're just a bit conservative on the whole dancing thing. But that's only because they haven't tried it. Yeah, see, once we give it a shot, they'll come around for sure. Will you at least think about it? OK, girls, you've made your point. Come on, let's go. Thanks, girls. Well, you were conspicuously quiet. Didn't want to undermine you. You really think this idea's got merit? Well, right now, we want these kids to be motivated, right? Well, they've come up with this idea. They own it. So they're going to work damn hard to make sure it succeeds. And the boys? Oh, they'll be all right once they see you doing it. What? Me? Yeah, and I'll join in too, just to show my solidarity. Dance. No, it's serious. This is such a stupid idea. Well, how do you know until you try? Because I trust my instincts. You don't know anything until you give it a go. Hey, I've never been bit by a snake, but guess what? You two will be in it, won't you? Do we get a choice? No, not this time. I guess that answers the question. Sorry, guy. Looks like you're outvoted. Beck, this is mad. It's a change for the sake of a change. That's all this is. Guy, look, I'm slightly inclined to agree with you here, but it's one in, all in. And a discussion. And as an added incentive, we have decided to make it count two points towards your end of your tally. Great! The good news keeps on coming. Right. Better grab your dancing shoes, people. Oh, we need leather soles. I've only got joggers. Don't worry. I'm an expert up shopper. Ever fancy yourself? <laughs> I can't believe Beck and Gary have allowed themselves to be sucked in by this. I tell you, it's unbelievable. OK, now I know you're all highly skilled on a surfboard, but let's see what you can do on the dance floor. If we can make two rows of four, please. Now, when we go to a party, we love to dance, right? Because it's fun. So the same goes for my classes. We're here just to have fun. That woman is obviously an escapee no from some preschool class. This is going to be even worse than I thought. Today, I'll introduce you to some form and structure. But first up, I'm going to teach you a simple routine. Nothing too difficult, some basic steps, and then I'll have each of you have a goal of it on your own. Now, this is just so I can assess your individual skills, and then we can see where we can start from. Hang on a minute. Nobody said anything about dancing on our own. We're supposed to be doing training exercises, not auditioning for some second-rate ballet act. And Guy, Guy, are you with us? You just follow Bridget, OK? If I have to. And five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And nice one. Yeah. All right, guys, you're up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
It's okay, guy. You're here to learn, right? Adam, you're next. The thought of having to do this sort of stuff for the next month is seriously appalling. This isn't what I came to Solar Blue for. One, back to the centre. Swap sides, lunge to the right. None of these exercises make sense. That leg straight and stretch it up. Someone please tell me, what are we doing here? If the message wasn't clear, it should have been the next morning, when hardly any of us could move. <sighs> Pretty sure I've been hit by a boss. Doesn't that tell you something? What precisely? That this whole dancing thing is a complete waste of time. We're not just going backwards, we're in a free fall. Come on, guys, it's like any new sport. We're using different muscle groups, so of course we're going to be sort of stuck. Yeah, and in the meantime, our surfing skills collapse entirely. Well, they'll come back. We've got a major surf comp in three weeks. We should be focusing on our moves, not just struggling to stand up. Hey, you've made your point. Yeah, well, pity no one's listening. What are you going to say and it's no good? What was I going to say? That this whole change in routine is all of a sudden going to work miracles? I can't buy it, Bridget. I'm sorry. But this is just not like you. You're usually so easygoing about things. Yeah, not when it comes to stuff that affects my surfing. And obviously when it's a change for the worse. Maybe you should hang off a bit before you completely write it off. If a car's coming towards you out of control, you just don't stop and wait for it to hit you. You move out of the way before it crashes. That's all I'm doing. OK. Well, can you at least stop taking it out on Cassie? It's not her fault we're doing this. It was her idea. Yeah, but we supported her, me, Lauren and Beck. Shouldn't single her out, it's not fair. Okay, I'll back off. But that doesn't mean I don't think she's responsible for all this. One of the things I like about you guys is the fact that you never let arguments become personal. Don't change on me. if you embrace it. Come on, Guy. Just give it a go. And again. Five, six, seven. Hey, do you guys want a hand cooking? Oh, what's this? Volunteering for extra kitchen duty. You feeling all right, man? Yeah, anything's better than staying in the same room as Guy at the moment. No, he's not much of a happy camper, is he? Oh, look, I've had this. I'm going to go have it out with you. Um, Cassie, I don't think you should. Adam? If something needs to be said, it might as well be done sooner rather than later. Look, I know you think this whole dancing thing is a waste of time. And I know you think it's all my fault, but don't you think you should just give it a rest? Look, Bridget's already had a go at me. I'm sorry if I got personal. <laughs> what? I shouldn't have levelled it all at you. For that, I apologise, OK? Look, no, it's not OK. I'm sorry? I don't care whether or not you think it's my fault, and I really don't care what you think of me either. Then what are you here for? I'm here for everybody else. What? If you're not prepared to at least try and get something out of this, then don't stuff it up for the rest of us, OK? In fact, maybe you should just not turn up at all. I suppose if there was one humongous low point in my year at Solar Blue, then this would definitely have to be it. Surfing was bad, training was a joke, and I'd pretty much alienated everyone in the whole group. All in all, it wasn't really a day to remember. Hey, has anyone seen Guy? 
Um, he bolted straight after Matt's, but I thought he was coming here. Um, I think I saw him heading out the gate. What? Look, I think this is my fault. I said to him, if you're not going to commit, then just don't bother coming. And I think he took me at my word. Do you want me to see if I can find him? No. Let him go. There's no point disrupting things further. Over to you, Rachel. All right, then. Um, let's start by warming up and going through the routine that we learned last time. Cool. OK. Five, six, seven. Oi, what happened to you? Did you forget about dance class? No, I decided to go for a run instead. Well, listen, mate, I should probably warn you, Beck and Gary weren't too impressed, hey? I didn't think they would be. They'd probably be less impressed when I tell them I'm not going back. What? You're gonna cut dance class altogether? Yeah, why not? I'm not getting anything out of it. Yeah, but what about the training points? If I lose them, I lose them. I'll just have to make them up some other way. You think Beck and Gary will agree? Guess I'll soon find out. Why do I get the feeling that this is not going to turn out well? Probably because it won't. I don't care what your reasons are, Guy. I told you that once we started this, it was one in, all in. It's not for you to make up your own rules. But you agreed this was sus from the start. And I also said we'd give it a go. Well, I'm sorry, but this just isn't working for me. It's only not working, Guy, because you closed your mind to it from the start. No, I haven't. I gave it a go for the first few classes. No, you didn't. You turned up, but you didn't give it a go. You were determined not to make this work because you didn't want to step outside your comfort zone. That is not true. Sorry, but it is, Guy. And to a certain extent, I can sympathise with you because I was guilty of the same thing. Well, there you are. But unlike you, I didn't shut and lock the gate before I tried it out. And as it happens, I'm a complete convert. I think it's what we all need. In fact, I couldn't think of a more ideal form of media training. Here's the bottom line, Guy. We're prepared to wipe the slate clean and start again, but you need to do two things. Which are? First, you need to commit, and I mean seriously commit to those dance classes. And second? Open your mind. You can't always cling to the same old safe ways of doing things. Sometimes you need to challenge yourself, even if it means having to endure a bit of discomfort or even embarrassment. OK, so what do you want me to do? Go see Rachel tomorrow at lunchtime. If you're lucky, she might be prepared to be as forgiving as we are. Oh, Guy, I've been expecting you. I guess Beck and Gary told you about the discussion we had. Yeah, they gave me the headlines. So what happens now? Let's have a seat. So, let's cut to the chase. You want to tell me why you quit? Because I didn't see how this would help my surfing and that's my number one priority. At least you're honest. Now, can I be honest too? Sure. Look, unless you make some radical changes to your approach, you're never going to become a top surfer. I'm sorry? It may surprise you, but I've done a bit of surfing in my past. Not on your level, sure, but enough to get a feel for it. So? So, two key factors are balance and agility. And you're seriously behind on both counts. How would you know? You haven't seen me surf. No, but I've seen you dance. And that's told me everything I need to know. Look, I presume you want to be a top surfer, not just an OK one. Yeah, of course. OK, I'll make you a deal. You give me a week of lunch times and I'll teach you how to dance. And I'll make a better surfer out of you as a result. What do you say? Well, I suppose I've got nothing to lose. Not the most ideal response, but it's better than a no. OK, when do we start? No time like the present, is there? Do you think Guy's really going to go through with this? I don't think Beck and Gary have given him any choice. Yeah. Where is he, by the way? Uh, I suspect he's trying to make a speech with Rachel. <laughs> yeah, well, he'll be lucky if she doesn't kill him. Good, from side to side. Transferring the weight from one foot to the other. Hey, don't look at your feet. Uh, where am I meant to look? Just watch me, yeah? Don't think about your feet. It's all about the rhythm. We talk in rhythms, our heart beats to a rhythm, the surf has a rhythm. That's it. Oh, this isn't going to work. So what are you saying? The Pro Tour isn't really for you then? OK, point taken. OK, come on. Imagine you're riding on your board, yeah? Knees bent, arms out, and... Good, let's go surfing. Here we go, surf with me, and... Hey, 
is the third lunchtime, guys. We've had it. Better give him points for trying. Oh, you want to know a little secret? I actually think he's starting to like it. Yeah, well, at least he's not angry all the time anymore. Mm, I think I may even be starting to like him again. <laughs> wow, you and Guy liking each other. Don't know who to pity more. <laughs> <laughs> The more I worked with Rachel, the more I realised she actually knew what she was talking about. Even more so, I discovered she was right. My balance wasn't as good as I thought it was. I had some serious readjusting to learn. Uh, come in. Hey. Um, been thinking about the after-school dance classes you've organised? and I wouldn't mind rejoining them. That's if you don't mind. I think we can find some room for you, if you're really interested. Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested. Cool. Well, I'll see you there, then. See you there. Five, six, seven, eight, and pop, pop, turn, rock and roll, up, point, clap, clap, and jump, two and turn, one and one, two, three, here we go. And kick, up and kick. And step and up and run. Here we go, drop it back. Roll, down. Nice one. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, what's happened here? Last week you were a duck and now you're a bit of a swan. Yeah, what are you even feeding him, Rach? <laughs> oh, it's all about routine, guys. All you have to do is find your way into it. That's all. That's all. Shall we do it again? Yeah. All right, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Good as the dancing was, though, the ultimate test was still to come. At the end of the day, it was still all about surfing. And nothing mattered more than how well we could perform at the comps. And step and up. When you get into a competition, lots of things come into play. I'll never know how much the dance training really influenced things, but this much I can tell you. On this particular day, my balance was as good as it's ever been. And it wasn't just me either. Everyone was surfing like they hadn't surfed for months. No doubt about it, they were hot. Lauren, Adam, nine. Oh! <laughs> Guy, Bridget, Charlie, nine point five. Oh, oh kitty! Fantastic results, guys! Congratulations! Sensational. Four weeks ago, none of us would have believed we'd get results like this. Least of all me. We needed a job, and we got it. Even if I did my best to try and stop it happening. Wait! <laughs> We're not done yet either. Isn't there a dance on? Hey, after the last month, there's no way I'm going to miss that. And I insist on having the first dance with you, Cassie. That is, of course, if you'd like to. I couldn't think of a better way to kick off the night. I might not be the world's greatest dancer. OK, let's be honest. I won't ever be the world's greatest dancer. But from now on, I'll definitely be one of the most enthusiastic. I'm still a great believer in routine. But I guess now I can see that non-stop routine can also land you in a rut. Sometimes you do have to change things around. It has its risks, but there's no doubt it can also produce some great highs.